A harsh reality is that artificial intelligence has already got its presence in the retail realm of the internet. It's not just retail, it's everywhere. But let's get one thing straight. The term AI is mainly a buzzword right now, right? True artificial intelligence isn't here, even though, yes, the phrase has become synonymous with machine learning, a thing that has been around for at least a decade now. Look, there, there are other people who are way more educated about this than I, but the point I want to make today is that, like it or not, for better or for worse, its reach is everywhere, including the retail community, and some of this stuff has gotten super convincing to the point that the average everyday people will likely struggle detecting whether photos, videos, and even audio clips are real or fake. I remember how about a year ago these platforms couldn't hardly spell a word correctly in a photo. Even a few months ago, I recall it still struggling with making text that was more accurate to what it'll actually look like in reality. You know, it, it might try to generate a logo and it'll kind of get it right. It'll kind of do the logo correctly, but then it also will have those weird little things about it. Just, it, it, it screams AI generated, right? But last night, I stumbled upon this image of a Waffle House stand in a Home Depot store. And this one was a lot harder than anything I've seen up to this point in the retail community. So at first glance, you, you probably won't even know that this is fake. It'll take looking at it for a moment to realize that there's something really weird going on with that Waffle House sign on the wall. Like, what does that say? People's House? Frapple House? Fra fra Frapple House? I don't know. It took me a minute and actually looking at the image a second time to finally see it. And I even know to look for peculiar details to know if a photo has been a photo or a video has been generated like that. But even with that, it you know, it still took me the second look to finally see, oh, you know what? There's that. It has been generated. Oh, look, there's a couple of lights actually on the right of side of that stand that they don't make any sense to be there. Look, look like they're, it looks like they're in the wall. Also, why is there a Yee Yee Apparel's name on the restaurant? Like, what? <laughs> what is this? I'm sure there are other details in this image that I'm not thinking of. They're just blatantly unrealistic. But look at just how convincing the Waffle House sign is. Even the chairs, they are all the same kind of chair that, I swear, it looks like something Home Depot would sell. Call me crazy, but it looks like something they'd actually sell. The laminate floor underneath the chairs looks absolutely like it could easily be part of a display that you'd see at Home Depot. The photo is meant to be satire, obviously, but it's almost believable if you don't give it a second thought, right? I mean, you see all kinds of different restaurants inside of stores all the time. I mean, you have Charlie's, you have, I think there's a Dunkin', there's a Burger King, there's McDonald's, there's like so many restaurants that have been inside Walmart alone, and even in the malls, right? Like you see restaurants in malls all the time, all kinds of restaurants. Um, I mean, even Jack's, right? Jack's is kind of more of like the farm version of of Lowe's or something like that, right? They don't do the wood, they have more of the western -y and they have some of the clothing. They even have a cafe. So it's like, it wouldn't be hard to believe Home Depot actually having something like this, right? Having some kind of stand. And they actually do, at least at my store, they actually have a hot dog stand. I've heard that Home Depots used to have hot dog stands all the time. I don't know how much that's true nowadays. But it wouldn't be that much of a stretch, would it, to go from a hot dog stand to a waffle stand, would it? Mudahar, also known as some ordinary gamers, recently did a video called You Can't Trust Any Video Anymore. And in that video, he shows some clips that were generated by one of these platforms. And wow, this stuff has gotten eerily realistic looking. If you know what to look for, which as he kind of talks about in that video, you'll probably be able to tell that these clips are not real. But at a first glance, you probably wouldn't think much of it. It would not be hard at a first glance, would it, to mistake this as real? And it's not just with photos or videos, it's even with audio, too. Welcome once again to Leto's Law. Lawyer Steve Leto of Leto's Law recently did a video on his Vault channel recently, where he explained that there was someone convinced 
that the robot sounding voice at the start and end of his videos was being generated or fake when it's actually a real person saying a line into a microphone. <laughs> the fact that it's becoming so indistinguishable, like that, to me, that is at least a little bit concerning that it's the, the, the AI's generated stuff. Well, quote unquote, right? The AI generated stuff is becoming so indistinguishable that it's not hard for someone to think something real is fake and something fake is real, is it? It's getting it's getting really fine line, I think. Overall, I don't know if this stuff, shall we call it, is good or bad. Whether it leans more good or more bad or more helpful or more harmful. I could see it being used for good, such as in making a video game more lively and playable. But I can also see it easily being used maliciously in a way that harms the world as we know it. I'll tell you, I haven't gone out of my way to use OpenAI or any of the insert word AI platforms, but I don't really have to when everyone else is already using it. I don't have a lot of interest myself at this point in using any of these image video generation thingies myself, but... The fact is that this stuff is here and it's not going away anytime soon, is it? At the current rate, it would not surprise me if this stuff gets so good within the next two years that it'd be su that it'd be insanely easy to create super convincing imagery at the touch of a few keys on your keyboard. But I guess time will tell if that becomes the case. I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are in the current state of this topic. Certainly let me know your thoughts in the comments of this video. Testing out a little bit different uh, approach to a video here. See what you guys think of it. So certainly let me know if you want to see more discussionary videos like this surrounding retail. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to my YouTube members and patrons, of course. As always, they do support the channel and make this journey easier and more feasible to keep going and hammering it. Uh, if you do want to join or any of that stuff, you can find all the links for all that info down in the description. But until next time, peace out, everybody. Have a nice day.